How do you do, everybody? This is Ted Husing announcing. These sports slants will reveal some of the action in various branches of athletics. Slants on sports here, there, and everywhere. <laughs> Ted Husing was an American sportscaster who was among the first to lay groundwork for the structure and pace of modern sports reporting on TV and radio as we know it today. Here's the pitch. Oh, but it wasn't any good. The bowler delivers with a stiff overarm and bounces the ball in. Here it is, and there's a hit into the slips. And now they watch and run. There's the fielder chasing the ball. A quick throw into home plate, but everybody's safe. Edward Britt Ted Husing was born on November 27, 1901 in Bronx, New York. In his early life, he served in the war and then worked odd jobs here and there until discovering his life's calling. At an audition for the radio station in New York, WHN, Husing beat out over 500 applicants for his first radio station job. There, he was schooled under pioneer broadcaster Major J. Andrew White. He covered breaking news stories, political conventions, and assisted White during football commentaries. In 1924, Husing beat out 619 other hopefuls to win his first broadcasting job at radio station RCA WJZ. By 1927, a national poll ranked him the seventh most popular sports announcer. Shortly after that, he left WJZ following a pay dispute. He then moved to Boston, where he broadcast the Boston Braves baseball games. Later in 1927, Husing returned to New York to help his mentor, White, start the new CBS chain. Later in 1927, Husing returned to New York to help his mentor, Andrew White, start the new CBS chain. At CBS, he broadcast a variety of sporting and special events. He also pioneered much of college football play-by-play -play commenting structure that is still used today. He interviewed players and coaches before games and devised spotter boards to identify the players. In 1946, Husing left CBS to pursue a career as a disc jockey. Throughout his esteemed career, Husing was known for his ability to capture the drama of a game and communicate that drama to his listeners. He was known for his rapid speech style, which earned him the nickname Mile a Minute Husing. His use of descriptive language combined with a commanding voice made his broadcast a must listen. After an amazing career, Husing died on April 10, 1962.